folks, Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Come here with a blog post we want to share with you, review all the latest and coolest in social media and technology. This is from AT&T Wireless. You may be familiar with them. You can find them at at forward slash wireless. Be sure to check out their website, and there'll be a link below the video. Uh, they have, of course, uh, numerous phones, but this is their newest launch of the Nokia Lumia 900 phone from Nokia, of course, and this is a pretty exciting product. It works with the 4G LTE system on the AT&T network, so it's pretty awesome from that aspect. It's a Windows-based OS phone, and uh, I've been pretty excited to try it recently at a uh, AT&T launch party, and we're pretty excited to get a take a look at it and review it for the ChrisVossShow.com. Now, uh, standard box here that you might find in buying a phone from AT&T. Um, Let's take a look at some of the outside here. I've gone ahead and cut the packaging so that we can easily get into this baby. But in essence, what you have here with this phone is, of course, it's 4G LTE uh, where it can get the higher data speeds and everything else. Uh, it's got a 4.3 clear black AMOLED display, which makes it really nice. You feel like you're holding a mini TV. I, I love how they just really took advantage of the whole space in making this giant screen. It's a Windows OS phone, which is really cool. It has the latest Windows OS on it for mobile. And it has an 8 megapixel Carl Zeiss camera in it. And that's so for the back. And then there's a front facing camera also, so you can use either way if you want to. Now, I was really, really impressed with this phone and getting a chance to have one of the first looks at it before it came out. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the unboxing now. Um, <coughs> Inside, you're going to find this is one of our one of the teal phones. They've got, I think they have a number of different colors you can get this in. Uh, there's a white one that looks really cool, and I believe there's kind of an orangish one. Uh, of course, you don't want to text while driving, so we'll peel that off and move that to the side here. Um, you can see it's a very beautiful phone. I, you know, I'm not a real teal person. I'm not a real, you know, I like hard colors. Um, but this looks really, really beautiful. Now, the first impression I got when I first took a look at these phones is how big the screen was. Um, even in the pictures that I saw online, it, it, the phone looks small. In real life, it's very big. Um, so let's go ahead and peel this off the back here. Now, you can see here on the back what they have got is this is a Carl Zeiss Optics phone here or camera I should say in the back it's 8 megapixels and we've even got a flash up here in the top part which is really nice so it's very beautiful looking with the chrome Carl Zeiss there on the back and uh, what's really nice about the body of the phone is they made the body of the phone as a single body as opposed to taking uh, taking and making the phone and then painting it this color so the whole body is this color this teal and it's all built in together so if you scratch this you're not going to scratch the paint off, you're actually going to be digging into the body. Now, the reason they did that is to avoid things like antenna gate and other things where the paint will actually slow down. And so in essence, the paint won't interfere with your signal, giving you the best optimal experience that you can have with the phone, which is really, really nice. So, um, in taking a look at this, you've got several different things down the side. Let's take a look at them. Uh, you're looking at the rocker got nice little rocker chrome buttons for volume up and down. We've got an on off uh, setting button where you can turn this off, put it on to, to put on to pause mode where you know, of course not burning your battery. We've also got a camera button that will allow you to uh, you implement and use the camera down the side. Uh, on the top what we have is we have got your uh, pretty much a standard plug for headphones there. We got a microphone area there, the little hole that you see there, and then we've got a plug for charging, and of course the SIM card area there across the top. Down the other side, we just have a nice smooth side, and then on the bottom, of course, we have a speaker. So we have pretty much all the elements that you need of a cell phone, uh, smartphone I should say actually. One of the things I do want to mention about this phone is it looks very slick, 
But there's something about the quality of the material that they took and they used where it doesn't want to slide around in my hand as much and it seems to grip. Uh, one of the problems I have with a lot of phones, especially those that are made of glass, is they want to slide around a lot and I tend to drop them a lot. I was really surprised when we took a look at this phone as to, even though it's got a nice beautiful slick back, it's not something that wants to slide out of my hands very easily. The other thing is too is the size makes it really easy to hold. Uh, even if you're going to watch something on the screen <coughs> or take pictures and everything else, it fits really nicely. The beveled edges that they take and put with the rounded sides uh, really make a difference. And then of course the flat bottoms. Um, it's only a beautiful phone, very well designed. Really impressed with how it's put together. So let's see if we can't bring it up here. And of course, you've got some of the Windows 7 stuff that you'll have come up here. I need to get familiar with the, um, their system and how it works and everything else. So uh, you can take a look at the, the one beautiful thing about it, too, is how the colors of the Windows OS, of course, works so wonderfully with the phone itself. I mean, it just really sets the phone off. This is something you want to be seen with. Um, so we're going to set this aside for a second. We'll come back to this. Of course, in here you, it comes with a Nokia SIM card. Pull out things so you can put the SIM card in it. Of course, already prepared some of that. And then it looks like we've got some brochures that come with the box. A quick start guide from AT&T on how to get that going. Uh, your SIM card, your SIM card, uh, I'm not sure what you call that, SIM card credit card, if you will. <laughs> And then the uh, legalese that you get from most companies. And then we've got the charger cable, which is appears to be a micro USB cable that plugs in. And then, of course, you've got your standard USB on the other side. Uh, they've got a really simple and easy uh, to use uh, plug-in charger. So uh, not very big and bulky. This is really important for if you're using this phone to travel a lot, and et cetera, et cetera. This is going to take a lot of space in your briefcase, attache case, or your luggage. So you're not looking at giant chargers, which is really nice and very smart. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some time to re-familiarize myself with the uh, OS, Windows OS uh, product and get a good idea as to how it works and understand uh, how it works. It's been a while since I've tested one. We're going to take some pictures, we're going to take some video, and we're going to get to know the product really, really well and give you uh, the impressions of what we think. But I'm very impressed with it. Uh, from what we've seen, this is, the giant screen is just beautiful. It's very thin, easy, very light. Um, it's a great phone. It's just awesome. So we're going to come back to this and let you know what we think some more.